everyone. I have a 40 by 72 pole barn here and I've enclosed 24 feet of it in which I am going to be installing metal on all the walls and ceilings. So I've pretty much got all my framing done, but I've made it to the point of my windows and thinking through how I'm going to trim those out. Obviously this is all going to be a finished space and typically you will see around window and door openings you'll see J trim and probably some kind of coil stock in here that would come out and you would have J go around your windows and doors and that would trim it out. I, that's fine. I mean, that's what a lot of people do, but I want to snazz it up just a little bit. So I've got something in mind that I'm going to try. So let's see if we can make it. I use this great stuff window and door spray foam to go around all the windows. I, I've had, got house wrap on the exterior and then I brought it in and then I've got the zip tape to, to tape in all my seals, but then I use the zip tape on the outside of the window to seal them to the house wrap as well. But when you spray this stuff, most people know this, but if you're spraying around windows and doors, this doesn't expand as much as they're just plain old great stuff. So I had a friend of mine one time was building a house when this stuff first came out. I don't even know if they had wind and door uh, formula at that time, but he employed his wife to go around and spray around all their doors and windows. And he said she just took off and said she hollered at him about an hour later and said, boy, I love this stuff. Said it, it'll really keep the bugs out. But she laid it to it, and needless to say, they didn't have a wind in the house that would open after the fact. But if you're going to spray wind windows and doors, use the wind and door formula, not the other. Most people know that, in case you don't. I've sprayed around all the windows. Now we're going to come in here and raise up my seal, and then we'll case, got some wood casing. We're going to go in here and fill in the windows, and then my little trim detail on the outside.
right, here's the thought process. These pieces that I just cut, I will build picture frames around my windows and doors. And so where my metal terminates, typically you would terminate it in a piece of J-trim and it would go and hide the edge and you're left with, you're left with this detail. So what I will do when I build my picture frame, I will frame my windows out and then when my metal terminates, it will terminate up under the lip that I have created. So when complete, my metal can terminate underneath my notch, which will be painted inside. So instead of having this J trim running around my windows and doors, which would be flipped around like so with a metal terminating here, I'll have a picture frame and we won't be able to see any wide in behind it. So let's see if it'll work. I, I, I should run this through the planer, but I mean, hey, it's in a shop. So I'm gonna take the sander, hit them all, and then I'll go ahead and get my jam material around my windows, and then I'll come in, build my frames, nail them up, and I'll be ready for the metal guys. <laughs> Now all we'll do, we'll get this nailed off, but then my little trim piece that I built, we'll go around here like this and we'll build us a little picture frame. We'll make it look like it's supposed to be that way. All right, there she is. 
I'll have to come back, putty my holes, and I'll probably run a bead of caulk just around this seam right here. But put a coat of paint on it, and we'll be good to go. I'll stick a piece of metal up in the bottom here to kind of show you what I'm after. All right, here's what standard J metal would look like if I could put that with it around my windows. Everybody's familiar with that. So I will have to putty and paint these, but this, these, all my trim is going to be black and then I'll have white metal. But I'll take this off and I'll slide this up in our groove there and screw it up. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's what it'll look like when it's all said and done. But you've got your metal it's tucked up underneath the lip on that trim. But we'll basically have picture frame around our windows. And then our metal will tuck neatly under the bottom and in the sides. <clears throat> so I'll bring you back here in a week or so when I get everything puttied and painted and we get the metal on it, I'll show you what it looks like finished. But I've got two more windows to do and then four doors. So I'm gonna get to work. Well, it's a few weeks later and I've got a primer coat of paint on the jam and trim around the window but we got some metal up on the walls but you can see here how they trim out in which i run my metal backwards so anyway they bent this back to where that comes out tight against my lip there but that gives you i think i cut these right at three inches versus a piece of j trim which would be you know about a third of the width of that so for just some old framing lumber I think they turned out pretty good, but if you're going to trim out some windows and going to use metal, there's another option. I use the same method here for the doors, which I just made a, a square cut right here at the top where that top header piece comes across, but I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. Well, hopefully this will spark an idea for somebody and maybe you can use the same method, but I'm pleased with it. I think when I get them painted and get everything finished up, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So pleased with that turned out, but if you watched, I appreciate it. And hey, we'll catch you on another one.